best decent running back we really had. You know, there have been seasons where we have like Dolan's recruited people men, off the street, they arise, signed them, and had them it. starting at running back that next Sunday because of injury the problems. As old as us all. But now it feels like Still we have that back that we need. Today. Eddie Lacy is he's a monster when he runs the ball. Living about on the their little fucking bowling ball does not true pins wonder over. of their delicate strength yep. revealed. And the offensive line is probably. Uh, you know, there was an interview recently with Mike McCarthy, and he was talking about the offensive line. And Mike McCarthy is a former offensive lineman. And he was grinning when he was talking about how great the offensive line is this year. And when you hear him say that, he's not one to heat praise for no reason. Um, and from what I've read from all the journalist reports coming out of training camp and stuff like that, <sighs> the offensive uh, sure. line huh? now is looking, you know, because now our center is no longer a rookie. Because last year our center was a rookie. You know, now he's got a year of experience under his belt. You know, the rest of the offensive line is solidified. As long as we don't have any major injuries, we're going to be able to run the ball all day long. We won't even need Aaron Rodgers. We'll just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Your when Majesty. they start playing run defense against us, Aaron Rodgers will drop back Gritty. and throw one over their heads. It's good touchdown. to see you again. And we're going to throw that damn Hail Mary. Please, and, Your Majesty. But I'd like to see him do it. You like need of your strength. In a few flea then I shall <laughs> lend it to you. <laughs> Be but you like, know I must first test your own. It is a code, and the code must be observed. Have you the courage and strength to face me? Way. Mike McCarthy doesn't like yes. those trick plays. You rarely so see a fake it. punt or a fake field goal come from Mike McCarthy. Rarely an onside oh. kick. You know, it's it looks he, so nasty. He would rather let got like Aaron four arms back and whatnot. four second steps and throw one downfield with one of these super fast wide receivers that we have. You know, we got Corn Cobb out there. Uh, you know, he can outrun any defensive back in the game. As long as he can get behind somebody, Aaron can put it in the right spot, and that's a touchdown. It's going to be one of the most prolific offenses the NFL has seen in a long time, I think, this year. I think they're going to be able to put up 50 points on people without a problem. And as long as the defense can keep somebody under 30, we're going to win a lot of games. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm all excited. I have my... Um, just sent in my vote for my, my shareholder proxy votes for the board of directors. Got my stock certificate framed up on the wall. My Packers old school leather helmet's been polished and waiting to go and start ready for preseason. You know, this is the last full month that we're going to have that's not going to have any football in it. Because starting in August, we get preseason. So, you know, then I start going to church on Sunday, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the Holy Shrine of Lambo. Oh, yeah. And we'll bring that Lombardi trophy back where it belongs. And we'll be making sure we have our offering plates full of Wisconsin cheese. Hell yeah. Here we go. And bratwurst and whatever else we're going to eat that day. Wisconsin meat sticks. Mm. It's always great now. I mean, ever since the mid-90s, when the Brett Favre showed up. You know, I was a Packers fan back in the 80s. You know, back in the Lynn Dickey years, the, the lean years of being a Packers fan. You know, when we 4 and 12 was considered a successful season, and things have definitely changed now, where it's like the Packers are consistently one of the best teams in the NFL. You know, the power rankings and the standings, and they're making it to the playoffs almost every year. It's like a dream come true for a young Packers fan who grew up when you know, we're getting beat by the Bears on a regular basis. And that was just annoying and embarrassing. Oh, I and bet. beat up on the Bears over the year. And I think it, it's the only competition we'll probably have in the NFC North is going to be Detroit. I think Detroit's going to be a good team this year. But the Bears still haven't put together. As long as they keep Cutler as your quarterback, the Bears aren't going to be able to do anything. And the Vikings are still trying to rebuild like they are every year for the past decade. Ever since they, for some reason, decided they wanted to bring in an old, aging quarterback into their system and see if he could do something. And by the name of, I think his yeah, name was Brett Yeah, female Voldemort. Totally right. Funny how the Vikings always seem to get our leftovers. Once they're no longer going to have to be a Packer, that's where they go. Don't worry, the Browns will pick up everyone else's leftovers, too. Hey, there's one Browns, at least, you know, I always liked, uh... Uh, Matthews on the Browns. This was back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Clay Matthews' dad played for the Browns. 
and I always liked his enthusiasm and his energy, and I was kind of a Closet Browns fan for a little while just because of Matthews. Um, if and then when they drafted when they drafted Clay Matthews' his son, I was ecstatic, and I didn't even know how well he was going to play. And Clay Matthews came in and just owned the NFL for a little while. And he's fallen off a little bit because of injury and whatnot, but I think now that they've moved him, because they moved him from outside linebacker to inside linebacker, and they're yeah. going to keep him, I think. You're going to slide him around. He's going to play both. Odin's Rage, what's up? Linebacker this year. Um, but I think as an inside linebacker, he is tremendous. And A.J. Hawk, you know, he was great for a while, but he's done now. Um, you know, we... The, the linebacking core hopefully is going to be stronger now that AJ's out because we kept AJ back there basically as a leadership role. He really had fallen off and lost a couple of steps, but now he can play back there as a leadership role. And, ah, I lost mm, Cecil. You know, I, I'm telling you, the Packers are going to be nice. owning the NFL this year. And I'd love to get another shout out to those fucking you. shit hawks. These are good companions you have found, both those strong and true. Allow me to to. To lend my strength to your cause, summon me whenever you have. Kind of funny, you know. Where, you know where Russell Wilson went to college, right? Russell yeah. Wilson was quarterback for the Wisconsin Badgers. Most HP can't seem to stay alive. To see him playing for those sea chickens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save because apparently I'm fighting Leviathan too. Nah, uh, cock gives him too much credit. Chickens are female, cocks are male. But I call them sea chickens. <laughs> Sea hens, sea hags. Yep. Sea hens. Man, I tell you what, man. I used to get a rise. I was, I was all last season, man. I got a hell of a rise out of my out of the guy I consider my stepdad because I've known him for close to 18 years. And he lives in Seattle. He's a hardcore Seahawks fan. And every time it was a freaking Seahawks game, ah, how's those sea hags doing? How's the sea chickens? <laughs> I have a hard time calling anybody a hardcore Seahawks fan because, boy, they weren't really around like six, seven years ago before Russell Wilson showed up. They were wearing bags on their He's been around. He's been a, he's been a Seahawks fan for a long, long, long ass time. He's got one of the these original Seahawks. <laughs> well, he's jackets. the only one. He's got one of the original Seahawks jackets that was put out. Forgot to say. In the late seventies, and he still wears it. And it's in mint condition. Nice. <laughs> oh, I, had, I used to have a whole bunch of these memes I was running around um, about Seahawks fans. Let's see if I can find some of them on my drive. <laughs> a man who does not care when it comes to football. Let's grab those memes and throw them in your face. That's a real troll bot right there. Seahawks players would make awesome dinner guests. If you need something, you could always count on them to pass it. <laughs> oh, my favorite one was a Simpsons thing, okay? And it's a four frame. It says the Seahawks fans be like, in 1976, it's Homer hiding behind a bush. 1976 to 2000, Homer's still hiding behind the bush. 2000 to 2012, Homer's still hiding behind the bush. <laughs> 2013, Homer standing out in front of the bush wearing all the Seahawks gears, number 12 flag, and says, 12th man, oh yeah. <laughs> I've been a fan since day one of January 2014. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, there's so many of them. Wow, just as creepy as I'd expect an Idolin Queen to be. Okay. <laughs> we did kind of fight like Voldemort's wife. Just all creepy forearms, like two or three faces. It was, it was weird. Where you, child? You are the first and only to best my lady queen. But strength of arm alone will aid you little in the face of true evil. Without the strength of will to keep it aligned on the proper course, all the power in the world amounts to nothing. My spirit has been tempered and honed in the forge of the ages. Will you face me, knowing what it means to do so? Yes. Oh, snap. 
hey, if that wasn't the worst call in Super Bowl history, it's got to at least rank in the top ten. That's the way to say it, Jim. Way to say it, man. Wow. Oh, he, like, quit? Speaking of the Packers and the Bears, I just logged into my NFL showdown. And I've got a freaking game coming up in 12 hours against the Bears with the Packers. We already know who's going to win that one, Packers. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I've got my, I've got my freaking team on NFL showdown freaking just... Blowing the hell out of everybody. Bears came and beat their wives. In fact, we started calling the Chicago Bears up here at the St. Mary's School for the Deaf and Blind. <laughs> I put it like this. The guy that I'm playing that's Bears, that's running the Bears, has like an overall it. team rating of uh, 6.44. My Packers have an overall team rating of 7.69. His passing overall rating is a 6.52. My Packers are sitting at an 8.0. Oh, crap. I forgot to take I'm off at a legacy level my ice right armor with, the, with my Packers team. Oh, this guy ain't got a chance in hell. Oh, I want to see if I can put this as my, uh... Quick question. Can someone look at the stream and tell me if it looks funny? Or... Go take a look right now. Um, Alright, because I had it set where I didn't have the border. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me. I have to make an adjustment in uh, OBS now. This may crash the stream, guys, so give me a moment. Ooh, the Sattlinger is giving away Alpha Keys for Albion. Not like I care, but that's one of the reasons why I'm not getting as many viewers playing it. There we go, guys. There we go. Fixed it. I I just I just made it bigger, full screen. I. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You're good. You got full screen now. Yeah, I I, border on the bottom of I totally forgot that. I went super noob that I forgot I uh, adjusted for Terraria so everyone could see the screen. And I forgot to set it back be for Final Fantasy today. Oh, man, I tell everyone you're supposed to be the OBS master. Yeah, I know. And it's like little things like that. I know how to do everything else, but sometimes I forget the simplest of things. Because Final Fantasy IV automatically has that top and bottom border if you're not full screen and it's just a very annoying to have that so I get rid of it by completely uh, cutting off possibly a piece of the top and bottom in order to full screen on uh, Twitch for everyone alright taking off um, ice armor because I'm an idiot Leah says there's still just a little bit of a blue border on the left-hand side, but it's barely even noticeable. At least on my screen, it's barely noticeable. Oh. Um, it's like not even, it's, it's like less than the thickness of the tip of my pointer at full screen, so you're fine. It's good enough for jazz. Oh, does that work out now? You're good. I mean... 
I it, moved. You made it smaller. So All right. Cool. cool. The border's still a little bit there, but you're not gonna be able to get rid of it completely unless you're. Oh, now it's gone completely. Cool. Thank you. Let's see. Oh yeah, you know what's bothering you. That's why you said something. We'll try to play it off. But not only is it bothering you, but I know when I go to look at it later, I'm going to be upset that I didn't take care of it because I don't like having a border anywhere except for the one uh, south of Texas. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, yes, guys. Yes, Leah, I am troll mod, and that's I troll everybody, including the streamers and the people in chat. <laughs> I don't care who you are. He's a good friend. We hang out I'm even off stream. At this point. Let's see. I'm untouchable. <gasps> oh no! You you oh you pretty much are. I can't reach out and touch you through the computer screen. So yes, you are untouchable. I mean, you could unmod me and ban me. You could talk to the uh, the Grenade Militia and have me kicked off the team speak. I guess. I just, you know, move to a proxy IP. If the IP banned me, it's still come back. I know, right? Yeah, that's that's why it's better to have me as a mod than a troll. Yeah. I figured that's why you all gave me a mod anyways. You and Blood Bulb was like, hey, I don't want him trolling me, so let's make him a mod. He can't troll us. Yeah. Not it worked out. Here. It worked out I for still, the best of everyone. I still troll you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is, and he's a really great guy. I know, right, Leah? All right, All right I so... have to go make dinner, because I just got yelled at because my wife had to start the meet, and I wasn't there, so... I'm going to park my character in Ark, and I'm going to come back in a little bit, and I'll play some Ark and troll you guys some more. And... But i got to fill my belly with food, otherwise I won't have the energy to be this fucking funny. I know. You're never funny. Unless oh, you're funny. full. I'm funnier than you, at least. Oh! That's oh. the important part. Funnier than me, man. Oh, yeah, well... Doesn't take much, I know, right? No, I was gonna say, it's... Like being the smartest kid on the small bus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're uh, the funniest the guy on this team speak. The smartest guy on... The short bus yep. had to been this guy that got reported that he died. Yeah, I know, right? In border on July 4th because a guy was stupid enough to launch a mortar shell firework from its tube while holding the tube right dead center top of his head and the force of it launching off actually caved his skull in on him and instantly killed him. Yeah, we call that Idiot. Darwinism. Yeah, that's exactly what I said and everybody in the comments is saying, well, everybody, we got the Darwin... Uh, the uh, Darwin Award of 2015 already freaking awarded right here. Uh, it's the poster child for all those morons that were lighting off all the fireworks on fucking 4th of July. Pissing me off. Of course, here I am in game lighting off fireworks all over the place. The difference is, it's a game. Yeah. Let's see, have lightning, fire, and ice. Oh no, is I have too many resources. Apparently I can't pick up the Aegis shield just yet, but that's okay. Alright kids, I'm out of here. You all uh, have some fun. I'll probably it'll be probably about an hour or so until I can get finish making dinner and eat and all right. get the wife settled in on her game. All right, troll mod. You have a good night, and we'll Call see you back. when you're back. You can't get rid of me that easy. I'll be back. Troll mod love all over your face, neck, and chests. 
And just to let everybody know, Ark has another update. Edge pounds him with Blitz. I didn't even get Blitz yet. Riveting commentary, riveting. I know, right? That's what my friends are, is riveting commentary. Lots of them. I feel, I feel kind of giddy inside. You'll never guess who I just got followed by. My bot just notified me. Who? Thunderhawk. Oh, nice. Yeah, I hear my bot go off playing the Welcome to Your Doom sound clip from Altered Beast. And I look, and I was like, wait a minute, that's what somebody subscribes. What the hell? So I go in on my bot, look yeah. at today's followers, current session, at 4.23 p.m. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm like pretty sweet. Indeed, you bear the light. Very well. Go with the power of the Eidolon King at your command. Rhea learned Leviathan. So I have Asura and Leviathan now. Nice. Um, my guide says try to get at least two people to level 50. What do you guys think? I'm... I, I apparently I need level 50s. I, I don't know if I have it, guys. I don't know. I don't I don't think I think we're gonna have to grind out a long time. I mean, it's seriously going to take a lot of time, guys. You know, I've, I've worked so hard to get this far. Man. I just, I don't think I can do it. What up, Bear Rippers? How are you, man? <laughs> ah, Light Curtain casts Reflect. Level 60, 61, 63, 55. I think we need more grinding, you guys. <laughs> I think you might be in trouble. I know. I, I just... <sighs> Whoa.
Alright, so now I'm leaving here. You can smell the sarcasm in the air. Hell, you can cut it with a knife. Yeah. Alright, so we are getting out of here. And going to the sealed cave. I can use Rosa's exit to go back to the upper world. Okay, well where the where the hell's that? Just now? Yeah, you stopped and you sounded like you were about You're like, really? Where the hell is that? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I was catching myself. Like, I was reading, and apparently it just says, like, head back and save. At this point, you can use Rosa's exit. Oh, her exit spell. Okay. Apparently, the fine print says it all. Where the. Is that? Yep. Rydia, where's your exit spell? Like, no, seriously, where's your exit spell? Uh, oh, it's Rosa. Rosa, not Rydia. Urgh. I'm getting names wrong. Wait a minute. What exit spell? I don't see one. She's 61 and I don't have an exit spell. Hmm. All right. Yeah, and just in case they they probably met teleport, and I don't have the ability to use that either. Hmm. There's a hidden teleporter around here. Maybe, oh, okay, so maybe this, this stuff on the ground is, is Rydia's spell work. This is what they mean. Well, okay. Lady Bug Lauren, 
Ladybug Lauren, how are you? And welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. It is extreme support. Thank you so much. Ice Prime's wife stopping by to spread the love. Oh, nice. Nice. The, the love is awesome. Yeah, we've been doing uh, Ladybug Lauren. We've been doing stuff like this while we wait on the big rig to get fixed by I Buy Power. Ice Pack means family. Nice. Welcome. Welcome. I, I stream in my living room, so you, like when I do bring the big rig back, you can usually catch the wife or the kids rumbling, running around and, and you know, goofing and, and having a good old time. Right now, you guys can actually hear us, unfortunately, because my laptop can't handle a webcam and a game at the same time. It's, it's only got so much oomph. <laughs> Now to some sealed cave. All right, save. I'm so tempted to load up my Final Fantasy IV in the after years. I'm almost there. Oh, Ladybug Lauren, they've they've been doing a lot of fixing now. Um, I probably should have asked the question about uh, upgrading the graphics card while they're waiting on one to waiting on the R9 290 to come in the mail. They could have just upgraded my graphics card and fixed the issues and sent it back to me. Um, they replaced the motherboard, the power supply unit, and the graphics card, plus all of the wiring and cables inside my desktop to fix my screen tearing. Um, they believe my power supply unit was actually destroying graphics cards, and that maybe there also could have been damage to the motherboard. So that's basically what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, doing a complete system rebuild, which they caps, damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, see me typing in caps in chat. It's because I have my push to talk on TeamSpeak set to caps lock and I forget to double tap when I'm done talking. <laughs> ah, warp. So now where do I go? Sealed cave. Northwest of Tomra? Is that here? Yep. Northwest of Tomra. Hey, Grim Reaper, thank you for the host, man. You know, as as most folks, I know he is streaming. So if you guys don't know him already, he is my mod here in the channel. And definitely give him a follow and check him out when he does stream. Really? Nightbot's not here? Yeah. Come on, Nightbot. There we go. Go give him a follow and check him out. There we go. Yeah.
Hmm. All right. Lid Justice. <laughs> Is she streaming finally or no? She's trying to, but her computer's struggling to keep up with the uh, video encoding. Ah. Uh. So is that a yes or a no yet? Anyway, guys, give her a follow. She's definitely an awesome supporter of the channel anyway. You know, screw it. She's having issues, but she'll eventually get there with a the better computer. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the guy is modeling a uh, dress. <laughs> Thank you guys for the awesome follows, y'all rock, that's awesome. Alright, so... I want to hold on and be right back. I want to take this time to hurry up and go get a, you know, bathroom break, drink, a snack, something. You know, I suggest you guys do the same. Also, get up and stretch. It's never a bad time to take a break, get up and stretch, and take five minutes out of your day. Especially for the stream. Holy crap. We're going to be here for a little while longer. We still have, like roughly four more hours to go before we're done for the night <laughs> what up Atani how are you man we're taking a five minute break to go grab snacks drinks restroom breaks all of that stuff so guys again go take that five minutes and come back we won't start without you guys or I should say we won't end without you guys Yeah, I'm going to get one. That's crazy here. Yeah, what's 
happy to be go guys got my drink and here we go auto battle that stuff Oh yeah. Crazy. Money. Come here, baby girl. Come here. Come here. <sighs> what? Oh, I'm still poisoned. That's right. Antidote. Here we go. Hold aloft the key and the way to the crystal will open. Oh, um... Right. Let's see. Oop. Dude, these guys are strong! Super strong! Oh, but here come the Zubats <laughs> and the Ekans, right? No, I grew up as a as a uh, freaking Pokemon kid. 
Dude, what? That was kind of cool. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, a snake, a snake. Oh, it's a snake. Yeah, it's good to see you playing the story instead of grinding levels. Uh, we ended up grinding levels by getting lost, uh, Bear Rippers. Yeah, like, Platinum Hunter achievement unlocked. Heck yeah. We don't want to go in that door just yet. Let's get these maps unlocked. They love their grind. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And it's freaking terrible. It's driving me damn crazy. doesn't have any Final Fantasy 15 doesn't have any of that it has no grind whatsoever like absolutely none I'm kind of curious as to how the level up system is gonna work and all that I've not played the demo so I don't know neither does 14 and 14 2 oh believe me 13? Oh, has it. What up, Ramses Lion? Welcome to the channel. Fifteen is more of a you go and clear a level and then move on. Yeah. People are tired of the level grind. Extremely tired. I would know. I'm playing the older ones. <laughs> uh, and for good reason on Steam, too. Like, the, the, the ones on Steam have more fun, I feel. Damn it. I think, uh, yeah, 13. The grind is real as it gets. I don't care. 13's freaking awesome. All right, so let's drop down. Go. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. I see. This is that place where every single door is a monster. That's not a door, it's a monster. Oh, okay. It, it's a door monster. 
Oh, it analyzed me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So how the hell do I beat it? <laughs> Sorry about my daughter. She's having. She's like excited. What is Cecil doing? Not one-shotting everything like Kane is. I know, right? Yeah! Cecil levels up. Huh. Hi, baby girl. I don't think I'm supposed to be here just yet. Yeah, I gotta go back down. There's a treasure chest downstairs in that other room. And there's an item for Edge in it. And an ether, by the looks of it. But the guide could be telling me items that technically aren't there could be something else for all we know and another item of who knows what else this being the steam remake all right all right so we're gonna get the hell out of here real quick we're gonna go back down and we're gonna go see about that very first door because that's a little more important Slide, slide, slide. Damn it, I got rope burn. Would those stupid bats target somebody else with that stupid blood feast skill already? Jesus, they just keep ganging up on poor Cecil. Kane's in the front row too, stupid bats. I know! Zoo, bat, bat. Well, we never I never thought I'd see it, but Kane Cecil is over 4000 HP. He's over 4000. What? Whatever. Edge is just like chop wop. And then Kane just comes out of nowhere, like 4,800 damage. No big deal. Nice, and Kane leveled up too. I think the bat got inflicted with stop. Heck yes, it did. And look, it's all those monsters we thought were were really difficult in the beginning of the game. Bam! Chop! Chop, chop! Wow! These monsters have over 10,000 HP. It's crazy. Oh, jeez. I think the bat guy... Uh, I know why you're struggling so much. You need to have more cowbell. Heck yeah, I need more cowbell. Everyone needs more cowbell in their life.
I don't know where it started. But it's hilarious. Alright, two treasure chests. A Kotetsu, okay. Four edge. What, the whole cow, more cowbell thing? Yeah. Was that some, I can't remember exactly who, who, what it was. Was it, like, was it some concert? And it just ended up catching on. This guy freaking popped off in the middle of the... In the middle of the concert during a freaking song and freaking screamed more cowbell. And it's it's just become it's spread for so long on absolutely everything. Crap, who's hurt? And it's poison, isn't it? I knew it! Oh, and Edge is, uh, can't talk. We like him that way. He, uh, he can't smart off and start sassing women. <laughs> oh. oh, holy crap. Zluzzy's trying to... Zluzzy's trying to stream Ark. Is he streaming Ark? He's trying to. I just got Twitch notification. He was streaming hard. Nice. I know. Hey, buddy. He didn't make a mess on the game, did he? There's no poop anywhere confirmed. Yeah. What the the child's room has been wife approved. Yes. Checklist done. The poop apocalypse has ended. No, because he brought it back last night. Whoa, wait a minute. Did I 100%? Okay, yes I did. Hey! Put it down. Get it. Give it to me. Um, let's see. What is up here? We're just gonna fight them all. Every door is a monster, and that's okay. Yeah, like Jim says, Edge is so obviously square, attempting at making a hip character for this game, and it falls so pathetically flat that it's just painfully sad. He, he, he's like, uh, he's like the comedic relief for when he starts talking to women. It's funny. Okay, empty. <laughs> My son, SpongeBob. We got the sponge and the bob going. Man beard thing. What's up, Draven? How are you, man? Man beard thing. <laughs> How are you, Draven? How you been? Was that you on Twitter?
Yeah, no problem, Draven. Nice. Okay, absolutely nothing. Okay. Thought you had your PC back by now. Nope, Draven. They're working on it again. The inner workings of I by Power have sought to actually fix my system this time. It's like, yeah! No, I didn't want to go down the rope. Dang it! Yeah, we didn't finish that. Go back up the rope. Hand over hand, my friend. Hand over hand. Get that climb in. Yep, I want those items. I knew there'd be something cool over here. And I wouldn't be able to get it all. Wait, what? Dude, really? All this over here? Come on. You I think can't. I found something for when we do the 24 hour bill string there, uh, Anthony. You're going to do yours for uh, Operation Supply Drop. I just found one I'm going to do. Cause oh, yeah? Pretty, it's, it's pretty hard, close to home because of my dad. My dad, he has blue body syndrome. It's a combination of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And there's uh, the Alzheimer's Fund is actually. They what a the fantasy Gamers Diablo! All, it's the Gamers for Alzheimer's Cure Foundation, and they're raising money for uh, cure research for Alzheimer's. Bam! There you go, Draven. How are you, Fantasy Diablo? And I am doing good, man. That's pretty awesome. To join the ranks, simply fill out the form. Please include your Twitch or other network name and times you'll be streaming. Along with a bit of info about your uh, about your stream, please note that we have guidelines in our partnership. This law broadcasting the illegal content, such as but not limited to drugs, sexual harassment, pornography. In short, please remain professional. Mature audience indicators must be adhered to if your stream is intended for a more mature audience. As a token of our appreciation, volunteer streamers uh, will be listed in our promotional material on our website, within our community tools, and our gaming community. Nice! And this is for the Parkinson's thing? Uh, it's uh, the Gamers for Alzheimer's Cure Foundation. Nice, nice! Who? Oh. What up? Is that Draven? Yeah. How you doing, man? Oh, I've been busy. Just got internet back a couple days ago, so. Who was eating? Wait. Why? Why? Yeah. We found it. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> Good to know you're uh you're doing well, man. Apparently, I was supposed to go down that rope way back there. I didn't want to go down that rope. I wanted to go find them treasure chests. Darn it. See what I mean? This is how I've been leveling up. By by going the wrong way, and then reading the guide, and then fi finding out I had to go that other way first. They really did make these games the grind, the grind central. How's your bit day been going, game? Everything's doing pretty good. Um, just finally getting in and talking to the tech today, this morning on the phone with I Buy Power, and finding out everything that's been going on with the the desktop and what they saw and what they're fixing and how they're going about things like 
being able to know that information is important for me so I can let you guys know. So it was really nice. Considering my episode of last night, that was that was crazy. So I might actually then be able to catch up to you World of Warships. Nice. Oh, you're gonna you're streaming World of Warships pretty good. I can play it, Val. Just... Computer runs XP instead of one of the newer Windows, so. All the streaming programs won't stream because of it being Windows XP, which kind of sucks. So what do you... so how did you fix that? I downloaded it on another computer when I wanted to stream it for a bit and still had the computer crash on me. Oh, we got two computers, but it suck. Just buy a copy of Windows 7 Home. It's only like 70 bucks. And then just buy a and then just buy a key from Windows for Windows 7 Ultimate. Because every Windows 7 disc has every single version of Windows 7. It's just which key you choose to use. On, and on uh, which version of Windows 7. So you need an ultimate key for a Windows 7 Ultimate. Windows Home that key for Windows Home. Yep, that, and keep in mind too, that once Windows 10 rolls on the 29th of July, everybody that has a valid Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 license um, gets a free upgrade to Windows 10. Yeah, Leah Justice is on a, uh, Leah, she's on a older laptop, older than mine, trying to stream, and she's having issues, um, similar to mine being hardware, but hers is just such old, so old and hard, uh, that the hardware can't keep up with the, with the streaming program. An HP DV6 dual port. Woo! That's, that's that's like rubbing two sticks together. Yeah, I've been trying to help her get it up and running because Lee's actually my wife. She's sitting over here next to me. I've been trying to help her get it up and going. I've she's set it in an encode rate of a thousand. I freaking dropped her. Uh, uh, one is Everything good. bottomed out, and it that dropped her bottom out. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> I put everything rock bottom, low setting, everything, and it doesn't matter what it is. If there's any amount <laughs> of motion, it the video lags out. The encoder goes high CPU usage. Audio comes through fine, but the freaking video just locks up. Yeah. Both with OBS and with uh, uh, fuck X split. And what dropped her bottom out? Shit! <laughs> 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 Some here turning a couple of shades of red right about now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny though, because you said it, not us. And that's what makes it hilarious. Apparently, swiggity swat him, I'm coming for that bottom. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh. Swiggity swiggity, I'm coming for that booty. There's nowhere to run. Well, apparently someone's gonna get it. Well, you guys do have boxes. There is that closet in the back corner. There's also the shower. 
Yeah. Could always just like use a shower curtain and turn that into a giant condom. It's a body condom. Nothing's getting anywhere. Oh my god. That'd leave a major case of rug burn considering it's one of those waterproof uh, fabric shower curtains. <laughs> Grabby hands. Oh no. <laughs> a fabric shower curtain? That'd be terrible. Sad thing is, we just bought that sucker two months ago and our cats have already tore it up. Oh, the cloth shower curtain? Yeah. It's supposed to be snag proof. Yeah, well, I guess snag proof doesn't mean cat claw proof. No, not cat claw proof. Look at Edge is pushing level 60, guys. I don't think we have level 50 characters. I do not think we're going to make it, but who knows? We're apparent like I looked at the guide and apparently we're like six steps away from the end of the game. Well, this stream just went definitely mature rating. Good thing it's flexed for that. It's all good. Still not as bad as the Pixel Podcast this past Saturday. Yeah, yeah, not as bad as that. I'm looking. Yeah, I ended up having to go, and it got even more rated when I left. That's that's when you know that your friends are much worse when you're gone than when you are with them. Because they're being nice. Yeah, they're being nice. You know, considering I try to keep things normal for my stream, and then like I leave, and I and I hear about all this craziness that ensues. Yeah, you gotta watch the, the replay of the last two hours and 45 minutes of the podcast, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually gonna end up downloading it to my computer and uploading it to my YouTube channel. Well, look, all they want to do is touch the butt. Just like Nemo in that boat. They, they were just dared to touch the butt, and someone's gotta do it. Did you see my comment yet, Game Key? Yeah. Lays a sword and 45 in front of Leah. Just walks away. Picks up the 45 and dares anyone to come close. I replied, Grim, I dare you. He'll just take the sword, knock the 45 out of her hand, and then take the butt. Zerbeel! Welcome to the channel. How are you? What, what? Touch the butt? What, what? Touch the butt? I dare you. Touch the butt. Touch the butt. This is going to be a Twitch version of Little or of Finding Nemo. Very strange. Do you know, Nemo? Nemo? Why don't you love Do me, Game Key? I'm waiting for my love. What up, Zwoozy? How are you, man? I'm doing all right. You didn't love me before. Hey, Zwoozy, you should go touch Leah's butt. I don't think that's legal. Oh, come on. I'm sure you can do it. I don't think I can. I mean, she's only in chat. She's putting up a fight. Where is she in chat? Leah Justice? Oh! Wow. Everyone apparently wants to touch her butt after Grim, her husband, mentions he's knocking out the bottom. Just... just saying. You're knocking out her bottom, like taking it off? That's weird. Apparently it helps... it helps her stream. Helps her stream with a butt. Helps you poop too. I am so gonna get you for that. No, it's no. <laughs> <laughs> At least not on Twitch or on Hitbox. I'm not anyway. anywhere. Yeah, Hitbox, you can play adult rated games. Twitch, nope. I wonder what YouTube's. I 
wonder what YouTube Games' policy is going to be. YouTube's probably going to have the same as Twitch. Basically, no, uh, no nudity. And no adult-only rated games. But, but that ass, though. But, here's the other question. How is this going to affect everyone with YouTube content? Especially partnered Twitch streamers. Is this going to be a thing where... Where YouTube gaming is going to be like... Well, we have a streaming service. And YouTube videos are our service, too. So, void of contract if you're anywhere else. Wait, are you switching to... YouTube or something? No, I'm not switching. I'm not I'm not leaving Twitch. No. On YouTube, you run the additional risk of maybe getting nailed with a copyright violation. For what? No, no, no. all that stuff. Oh, for like linking all these games and stuff. Yeah. Um, you run the risk of it, but guess what? Game companies aren't unless it's Nintendo stating like you're making money off of it. They don't care because it's more eyes on their content. It's free advertising. Yeah. Why why swat a hand that's advertising for free for you? Because it wants to grab Grim's wife's ass? I don't know. Okay, that could be a reason. <laughs> Apparently, Nintendo wants your butt. Your wife's butt, Grim. Apparently. Just saying. Like Blitzcrank and League, that Ash. You know what I mean? That Ash? No. No one saw that video yet? That, that was really bad, though. Well, Blitzcrank grabs Ash, pulls her back into the bush, and then, like, electrocutes the crap out of her. It's hilarious. That's what we're calling it nowadays. Electrocute. Pretty, yeah. I mean, toys gone wild. That's it's all bad. But the video I tweeted at you, Game Key. If you're, because I know you had pretty good aim in World of Warships. It gives yeah. a little more tips on getting Citadel hits on different ships. So. I figured I'd share it with you and, uh... Okay, guys, check this shit out. Oh, nice. Twitch! On, uh, one of Lee's recent videos, because she she let Twitch fucking archive her broadcast. For Fallout uh, New for, Vegas. For one that was recorded 23 hours ago for Fallout New Vegas. There is, like, a... Let's see here. 32... 40... There's like an eight minute section they have muted the audio because of a freaking song that's playing on her pit boy that's actually in the fucking game. And they flagged it for copyrighted content. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where that's where because that game is probably on an album and the album is copyrighted. I ran into that with uh Life is Strange. I can no longer put that game at all ever onto YouTube due to the fact that the whole game is flagged under copyright and that if there's music at any given point from the game itself that YouTube puts a 30 minute copyright uh, from the moment that song is hit and splits it both ways 15 minutes before and after the clip so usually it's anything that happens in game now that's becoming copyright for Life is Strange so I don't throw it on YouTube ever again Granted, I call it Rewind Hero, but that's just me. So yeah, I know the pain. It sucks. Oh, she's appealing it under the fact of it being fair use because it's part of the content of the freaking game. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be appealing later on, but... They're really, really, like, strong on that. Basically, it's like, you lose the appeal, you basically can lose rights to the game of putting it up online. And I just don't want to follow any litigation and, like, 
it's just become one of those things I don't care about. I stream. I got a bunch of other games I can play instead. However, I will play Life is Strange live, regardless if I can stream it or not. You guys could come to my uh, my Steam channel and watch it like as I'm playing through it, and I'd have my microphone going and stuff on the laptop. <laughs> That's that's okay, one way to combat that. Just set up when you want to run Life is Strange. Just set up to run it through Hitbox. Oh, I can run it. I can run it on uh, Twitch as well. It's just that it's while I'm live, you guys can watch everything in the moment. But when it's not live, that's when I'll have the issue with the copyright on YouTube. On Twitch, they kind of didn't care. It was a game. But YouTube's copyright laws are different from from that of Twitch, and Twitch may have a lot of uh, you know go go ahead rights, whereas YouTube is like, well, it's caught in our copyright net. Everything is copyright, therefore you can't listen to it. Which I really do like the beginning of Life is Strange. The first episode, the beginning is pretty awesome. Stuff. I can understand if somebody was playing music, you know, in music in the background while they were streaming and it got flagged. But like, what gets me is shit that's actually included in game that's part of the game itself. That's bullshit. You can do it. What what it comes down to, guys, is I'm I'm lazy as hell because I stream so much. I don't have the time to sit down and go through like a bunch of emailing, a bunch of researching who I need to talk to and be like, hey, I need rights for this particular song at this particular moment on this particular video. Hey, creators of Life is Strange, can you give me rights on YouTube to do that? And then YouTube will like back off. Like as long as you have rights. Um, YouTube will actually unblock that content, but you have to show them proof. So, I, I'm just like, I have too much going on to go through that or To help with the follow deal, uh, someone from the community I'm a part of that plays Fallout religiously, and she was streaming it a while back. Literally, what she did when they... Switch decided to go and do that to her because of a song that was playing from the Pit Boy. She yeah. Stop listening to music from the Pit Boy. Yeah, and but that's where you know I'd do the same thing. Hold it up to where the copyrights were really null and void now. So. Oh no, Leah's gonna kill us all. Look out, guys! Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Our YouTube content will definitely be copyrighted. We're all going to be pulled into years of litigation. Oh no. <laughs> oh hell, you want to like YouTube shit. She's going to copyright her left and right cheek respectively. <laughs> I've actually had a German copyright troll company called Gold One Networks flag like eight of my videos on YouTube trying to claim them all as copyright and the fucked up thing is is most of them are my own content it's videos of me talking okay or videos that i created um and they no with no music in them that they freaking turn around and freaking copyright troll on me and come to find out huh? they were nothing but a copyright troll operation that were going around and copywriting people's videos and then trying to tell them, oh, well, go get money and go and, and look, pay us. Look at mommy. Is this so much go get money and help. We'll, we'll go get the help. copyright claim and make you a partner through our YouTube really network. Want to give you I'm like, no, fuck you. Not happening. You're not going to freaking blackmail me and freaking, um, basically freaking, uh, try to embezzle my own freaking I spent three months fighting that shit with YouTube, and YouTube finally overturned and sided with me after I showed logs 
videos from other people having the same damn problem. All right, I'm gonna go get my son some pizza real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Right back. My daughter as well, and the wife. You know you do. And recorded the whole damn call. Um, well, you know what? All right. Fine. Reversing the copyright oh, decision All right. put my content back up. All right, get on the couch, buddy. Get on the couch. Hers is in the bowl. Get on the table. It's got points. So if you oh, ever get a copyright claim on your YouTube by a place called Gold One Networks TV, they're nothing but a damn copyright troll. They actually tried to fop they, they actually get tried to get on the couch. Friend, get on the couch, pal. You. You're welcome. Get up there on the couch. Uh, it's the troll mod. Friend. You left me, no! Yeah, Yeah, for those of you that basically put videos out there and keep an eye out if you get copyright claims and it's saying it's from, like I said, that Gold One Networks TV. Just refute the hell out of it. If need be, get a hold of me and I'll give you the link to the video that I made about them. And you can even link that in your freaking uh, copyright dispute. Alright. I'm back from getting the kid's pizza. And the wife is just like, It's the drama. I'm good and better than I deserve. I'm back. Hey, Except well, Doja what? is now up. Doja is polluting my air up. Baby girl. Mm. Here's a special statement put out by the Sit National Weather Service. It says, look for areas of smoke behind the bolt front tonight. Deadlight imagery, weather observations, and spotter reports across Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin indicate there's an area of smoke collecting in the wake of the approaching cold front. Fuck you, Doja. Hey, don't blame Doja totally. You can blame it partly on me, too. All you guys out in Colorado and Washington are smoking up our weather tonight. Oh, jeez. Smoking. Wait, what about the um, what the July thingies? Are they still up? Did I miss it? You missed it. It was the last skins? night. It was amazing. Fourth of July was awesome. Why? I kind of streamed. I think the skins are still in the game. Um, you kill Spinos and please Plesiosaurs is where you find them. I still have some left over. I have a couple of skins I had from a couple of Plesio kills. And I was actually making up uh, a bunch of my, uh, what I call torture flares, because I'm sneaking up behind people and then firing yeah, off one of the flares and then running away. Maybe. Doing what Troll Mod does best. You bet. You bet. Ow. You are so mean. Who's mean? No, I'm not. The troll he ain't mean, he's just normal. Y'all are just too nice, that's the problem. I <laughs> Yeah, she's that's gonna good. shoot anyone that comes close to touching that bottom. That's right. Uh, ah, yeah, that that Thing is, what about Gold One Networks TV? Uh, basically, Anthony, that's uh, they're a German copyright troll. Uh, oh. I had them actually try to claim copyright on like eight different videos on my YouTube channel, that were all my personal content, and I disputed it with YouTube. Um, what they're do what they're doing basically is yeah. flagging people's content. No, they're still doing it. Flagging people's content as their own. By co uh, via copyright, and then getting a hold of the creator and saying, you know, we'll release the, your, the copyright claim and allow you to uh, show the content on your channel 
if you pay X amount of money and join our YouTube network. They're basically copyright troll and um, trying to blackmail people. Hey, that's politically incorrect. It's called African American people. <laughs> oh, jeez. But I ended up getting a hold of YouTube, gave them all the proof they needed to prove these were copyright trolls, straight down to the fact of even posting a copy of a phone call I made because I had international long distance on my cell phone at the time. And I actually called their offices in um, um, in Germany and talked to them and recorded the whole thing and actually got them to admit that the reason why they copyrighted my content was because they were trying to get me to pay them money to join their YouTube network. Nope, I will not pay to join you either. Ask me or I, you know, join of my own free will. Nope. Hey, yeah, Jim, it's not legal. But here's the problem. Who's got the money to fight against a German freaking company in the United States? I mean, yeah, you could go through international international court, but nobody's going to want to spend the millions of damn dollars it's going to take to freaking go yeah, over the time. Yeah, instead, you just go through YouTube and say, no, this is legitimately mine, and then you prove it. Oh, and I proved it, especially when uh, I freaking recorded another video that was set private, and I sent it in with the dispute ticket, showing my original source files, playing the videos in question on my computer with the original creation dates and everything in the metadata of the files. Woo! Man, did I miss a lot of updates for World of Warships. Yeah, uh, when I re uh, basically they re they took out every all the extra content of World of Warships, and then re-download everything of World of Warships, and then reinstall everything to World of Warships. It took me like nine hours on my laptop. Hell, I'm sitting here. I'm already, it's already tell it's telling me on World of Warships. I'm already running the latest client version. I well, I didn't I didn't update the laptop because I had gotten the desktop back. So it was right after they had released access to playing the starships. And I was like, yeah! And then that's that's when I had updated from. I downloaded like 8 gigs to take away like 4 gigs to reinstall an additional 5 or 6. It was crazy. Uh, that's that Russian computer engineering for you. Two well, blue fans. Smack it around. American parts, Russian parts, all came from the same place. And they oh! American components, Russian components, all made in Taiwan! <laughs> yes. Not Tampa's Taiwan, Galaga. like mainland China. I'm sorry, that's my favorite moment in that movie. Yes, Jim, I have been told that. Calm down. Go yes, Jim, seat. there is a Santa Claus. Oh. You're the no, one getting mad at me for streaming. Me. There is no Santa Claus. I killed you. Hear this? Room. Now I more complaining. My life, so I may be I ending the stream. My entire life. There is a Santa Claus. I work for him. I have his contact on my cell phone. There I call him whenever my nephew and nieces start acting up. There you go. The it's a call. You're the one getting mad at me, see? Because you're tired. What? I told you this earlier. Don't, don't fight me. Don't talk about her butt like that. You'll get me mad. I can give the 45. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You said the character. I'm still here. Very good. good. Well, you're so sitting down, you. aren't you? But I'm sitting on my feet in the chair, so technically my feet are touching my butt. Right? Oh, That's so so good. Good. What? In technicality, <laughs> in technicality, your feet are touching the chair, which is causing your feet to touch your ass, which in turn, in the world of theoretical physics, means the chair is still touching your ass. No, actually, in the world of theoretical physics, it's nothing is touching anything because of the actual field of repulse around individual <laughs> molecules. The wow factor. The electron shields prevent any mass from actually touching. So you're actually slightly elevating above your feet, which is slightly elevating above the chair. 
Okay, so why did Bill Clinton use that argument when the whole I did not have sex with that woman? Because Which as such, his junk never touched Monica Lewinsky. Exactly. And that cigar never actually touched the inside of her lady parts. What? What? I have no clue what is going on. A pencil down a 747. Uh, well, game, that's what happens when you leave the conversation to go yell at your kids and then come back and, you can park, and miss out on everything. You can park a 747 in there, turn it all the way the hell around and get it ready for takeoff and never have the wingtips touch. No, I could probably put my plesio in there and still turn it around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, the channel went X-rated. <laughs> like, what? We're talking about German troll companies forcing people to pay into copyright, and then... Oh, that was a conversation so five minutes ago. You missed that. Yeah, right? Yeah, and then what's going on now? We started talking about Leah's butt. That ass, though. Oh, got it. Okay, now I think I know where we're at. And I brought up the whole concept in theoretical physics that technically no mass is solid and that nothing is actually really touching anything because it's more just repulsive forces. Vibrations, yeah. Monica Lewinsky was just a repulsive force in her own right. Oh no, that's just sexist. Leah Smith. <sighs> Sorry about my daughter. Um, she's upset. My wife went upstairs, so yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, Mr. All right. Mm. Yeah, I can, I can even mm. I can reach out and touch you from a distance using my surrogate. No, you can't. You're this beautiful. is normal. Hey, here, baby girl. Come here. Come here. Oh. Yeah. What's wrong? I don't even know what you look What's like. What's big brother doing? Go Tell grab the pizza. It's right there on the floor. You've never seen the uh, pixel pot? Um, the no, baby girl, that's the Big Brother. Two minutes, 45, or two hours and 45 minutes section of it. Um, Was that you, the blonde on the, like, the right-hand side of the screen? Yep, and Team Speak crashed on me. Alright, be right back. I'm gonna get my daughter.